welcome back to the shop. Uh, today I just wanted to go and make a couple of quick uh, jaws for this big Wilton vise here. I don't use it as much as I would like to because all I have for it are these hard jaws with serrations on them. These are, you know, original it looks like, so they're old and worn out anyway. But when you put something in the, in the jaw that you, in the vise rather, that you want to stay nice and, you know, round or whatever, um, it's not gonna stay that way if you grab onto it with these hard jaws. So what we're gonna do is mark out on a piece of brass, uh, cut off a couple of six and a quarter inch pieces, give or take, and then we'll machine them on the mill. Should be a pretty quick project, but something I've been wanting to do for a while. I just finally ordered the material. So let's uh, do some quick layout and then go over the bandsaw. The finished length on these is about six and an eighth, give or take. So we're gonna cut off a little bit extra to allow for some cleanup milling. I've got the dicom, I don't know why I don't use it. For this end, all I want to do is clean it up and then we'll get to part length by cutting on the other end. Okay, that looks fine. Although the length doesn't, length doesn't really matter, I figure we might as well just make them the same length as the originals.
Okay, so we'll put the other piece in there and just leave the cutter exactly where it is. And hopefully they will come out very close to the exact same thickness. Again, we just need to basically gonna end up machining one, two, three, four sides. No need to machine the bottom, no need to machine that surface. Although we could, it wouldn't take very long. I went ahead and took some time and ran a chamfer mill all the way around uh, both of them. Just, I'm not as good a deburrer as Stefan Gottswinter, so uh, I went ahead and did it the machine way to make the uh, deburring look all nice and even. So now we've got our edge finder in here. We're gonna find our, uh, I guess, center point of the vise and then go out two inches in either direction from that center point to determine our hole spacing for our countersunk screws. Now, this vise actually came with something I'd never seen before in a Wilton vise. But at some point along the line, someone put in these uh, flange screws, which are super, super, super high strength. There's no need for them to be in a vise, but I do kind of like the idea that by not having a, a hole in here like a typical socket head cap screw, you can't get something mushed in there or jammed in there. So this, kind of sits closer to being flush with the front of the vise. And so anyway, it's an interesting idea. I don't know that I'm gonna keep them in there. Um, if anything, I'll probably go buy some new ones and uh, make, the, make them look nice. But um, anyway, so that's the plan right now. We'll use our half function on the DRO a couple of times and it shouldn't take very long at all to get set up and ready to finish these suckers. There's the center of our vice jaws. Now, the one thing I do want to check is to make sure on the originals that these are these holes are actually in the center. And yeah, it's hard to tell with the, all the wear and damage over them, but it does look like they're kind of um, a little bit closer. The hole is closer to this edge than the top edge. So let me check that on the, the main casting and make sure we're, we need these holes to be in the center before we're committed. The way I decided to check for this distance, so the center of the screw down to this face here, I figured why not just use a, a quick and dirty method. So that's a transfer screw. And if you're not familiar with them, they are very handy. Actually just got a couple of sets. So it's got a uh, threaded section on there and then the top is, uh, I don't know, if, I, I doubt they're ground, but anyway comes to a point and then there's a hex around that. And so your tool that these all fit into have a little hex in this side, so you can drive them into your hole basically backwards and then transfer mark uh, apart or figure out measurements and uh, if you don't need it to be that perfect. So that's what we're gonna do. We've got our transfer screw in there and I'm just gonna measure with calipers up to where I look like I am uh, right on with that point. And this is kind of awkward to do with the vise in the way, but yeah, it looks like I'm about on it. 498. So I think that's a pretty good confirmation that we are indeed half way up on these uh, one inch wide vise jaws. So we'll just go with halfway. Since we're pretty confident that we've got our locations of uh, these countersunk holes figured out, the counter board holes, I guess. We'll go ahead and start making them. I'm just gonna use a spot drill here. 
And so we're gonna stay centered on Y. Keep this guy, oops. Okay, centered on Y and then we'll move over two inches in either direction. Okay, looks like we're right on. It's always easier to drill more than it is to add material back after all. Be cautious in the way we do this. Okay, plenty of clearance for that. So that should be about touching. So let's start with, uh, let's go 10 thou. Yeah, a little bit more. Tiny bit more. There we go. That's perfect. So now we can just go over to our other one. We've got our quill stop set. So just unlock the table, move over to plus two.
and then we can just use the uh, use the quill to go down to our depth since it's at the stop. Voila, and those are the same same chamfer. All right, so let me do the other one off camera and then we'll see how they fit or how they look on the vise. All wrapped up. That's what the final product looks like. Nice and shiny. Few imperfections, but nothing I can't uh, live with. So let's grab our 12 point ratchet to drive these flange screws. They're a tiny bit off, but for vice jaws, they look pretty perfect. Happy with that. This will make this uh, much more an everyday vice if I'm not gonna have to be messing around with hard jaws and have to get something, aluminum strips in there or something to uh, protect the part. So I've got a bunch of vices and this is my favorite. It is uh, pretty, pretty uh, unique. There's not very many of them out there. All right, that is a wrap on these vice jaws. Nice little quick and easy project. Brass isn't super cheap, but if you uh, don't want to pony up for it, you can just use aluminum. That's also a lot better than steel if you're wanting to do the same thing I was here, which is protect your parts when you use it in the vise so they don't get all marred up. Uh, but yeah, pretty quick and simple project. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please hit the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more. That helps drive more traffic to the channel and um, helps me grow the channel. So if you could, please hit uh, subscribe and like and leave a comment if you would. Also, please watch the ads. The ads aren't just making Google money. They're actually a, a portion of them um, comes to me. So a couple of pennies here and there adds up when you've got a lot of people watching. So please watch the ads and uh, subscribe. And I will keep providing you guys with some, some good content, hopefully. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.